Welcome back to BioSpeaks. Today, we're diving into the anatomy of one of nature's most important structures, the leaf. We'll explore the role of various leaf components, starting with the upper epidermis. Let's get started. A leaf is much more than just a green, flat part of a plant. It's the plant's powerhouse, where photosynthesis happens. Besides converting sunlight into energy, leaves help in transpiration, gas exchange, and protection from the environment. First up, we have the cuticle, a waxy layer on the leaf's surface. This waterproof shield is made of a substance called cutin. Its main job, to protect the leaf from water loss. Think of it as the plant's raincoat. Just beneath the cuticle, we find the upper epidermis. This is a single layer of cells that forms the top surface of the leaf. Its function, to act as the first line of defense against water loss harmful UV rays, and even pathogens. The upper epidermis also secretes that protective cuticle we just talked about. Next, let's move inside the leaf to the mesophyll. This tissue is sandwiched between the upper and lower epidermis and is where photosynthesis takes place. The mesophyll contains chloroplasts, the green powerhouses that capture sunlight. In the upper part of the mesophyll, we have palisade cells. These cells are tightly packed with chloroplasts, making them specialized for photosynthesis. They're like solar panels that maximize sunlight absorption. Below the palisade layer is the spongy mesophyll. Unlike the palisade cells, these are loosely packed, creating air spaces. These spaces allow for gas exchange within the leaf, which is crucial for photosynthesis and respiration. Let's zoom in on chloroplasts the tiny organelles responsible for turning sunlight into energy. Inside these green factories, sunlight is captured and converted into glucose through photosynthesis. Without chloroplasts, plants couldn't survive. On the underside of the leaf, we find stomata, tiny pores that allow for gas exchange. These are controlled by guard cells, which inflate and deflate to open or close the pores. When stomata are open, the plant can exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide, but it also risks losing water. So the guard cells regulate this balance. Finally, we have the vascular bundles, the plant's plumbing system. These bundles contain xylem and phloem. Xylem transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves, while phloem moves sugar produced by photosynthesis to the rest of the plant. Think of them as the plant's highways for water and nutrients. That's a quick look at the anatomy of a leaf, starting from the upper epidermis and going all the way through to the vascular bundles. Each part plays a crucial role in ensuring that plants can photosynthesize, exchange gases, and stay hydrated. Understanding these components helps us appreciate the intricate world of plants and how they power life on Earth. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe to BioSpeaks for more biology insights. Drop any questions or suggestions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.